Okay, so here's the results for the thrust test of these six new props. I thought I'd use the uh, Thor 2407 2500 kV because that, that way uh, we're not limited by available torque on the motor. So, so this one would uh, make for a good comparison against the other props that I already tested with this motor. And uh, it'll, you know, it'll give uh, some good uh, impressive numbers. So uh, to start with, uh, let's look at these two two blade props. Uh, these uh, were kind of a novelty a few couple of months, a few months ago. But uh, I don't know if they've caught up or if the people are using them at all or using them more than the uh, good old Gen Fan 5045BN. So from these numbers here, I think the Gen Fan 5045BN might still be a more efficient prop to use. Uh, so you can see this one makes uh, some decent thrust, but uh, the amp is the amp uh, draw is pretty pretty high. Although this one, I think, has been designed for you know on on the static, it probably doesn't show as good performance as it would on in the air. Uh, some of these newer props have been designed to to have a moving airstream on them, so on static they don't show that good results. But still, I mean, if we compare on the static, uh, it I think this is lower performance than the uh, original Gen Fan 5045BN. Uh, same thing goes for this DAL C5050, the Cyclone uh, 5050. Uh, pretty good thrust, but uh, the amp draw is just a little bit on the high side, I think, for a two-blade prop. Uh, the GenFan 5045BN is uh, a lot, a lot more uh, efficient. All right, so then we move on to the ideal uh, fishbone. FF5041BN. I, I had seen this one a long time ago, but I never gave it a thought. I thought it'd be like a joke, you know, because it's got a fish as a blade. But it actually surprised me as far as uh, test numbers are, are concerned. So uh, just the numbers. I, 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 from what I hear, the performance is uh, in the air. It's so-so, uh, you know, nothing too exciting. Um, but uh, as far as thrust numbers, it's it kind of impressed me. Uh, I didn't expect this much from from this prop, uh, so it's kind of a novelty prop, I guess. I haven't flown it. I only got the one that uh, Edward Lee actually sent it to me. Uh, the same guy that sent me the uh, the uh, F thirty T motor and the three um, uh, B R motor, the sixteen oh six motor that I'll be reviewing soon. Uh, so he wanted to know how the prop uh, compare against the other one. So it, uh, if you compare against the uh, 5040 by 3, which is probably the closest, I would say, uh, it's it's a you know it's a little bit lower. It, it's lower performance than the 5040 by 3, but not you know not by much. So that that was kind of surprising. Uh, next one is the another one from Ideal uh, 5048 by 3. Uh, this was sent by a YouTube viewer. I believe his name is Frank uh, Sarfino. Uh, so he talked to me about it. He told me there was this prop that he's been flying and that he likes it a lot. And a couple of the people have uh, had also mentioned it. Uh, I didn't know much about Ideal, uh, so then uh, he sent me a few of these. And uh, also, again, uh, this one surprised me with the performance. Uh, quite a lot of thrust, actually. Uh, uh, although it, it does come at a at, at a little bit, a little bit high uh, amps, but not that much if you compare it to the Lumineer 5050 by three, which is kind of similar as far as pitch goes. Uh, thrust is not as much, a little bit lower, and amps are a little bit higher. So, so that would be the comparison. Uh, you, I guess you could also compare it against the Dal 5050, the Cyclone. Uh, pretty close in thrust but uh, as you can see the dial 5050 is drawing about two more amps so so it's, it's kind of noticeable you know two more amps and about the same uh, same thrust numbers i don't know if this one has qu become quite popular yet i don't know if people are actually flying this one or if people think that it's drawing too much uh, current and maybe uh, warming up the heating up the batteries too much or the motors so I'm not sure how this one's doing 
Uh, next one is the ideal 6048 by 3. This one's a, a large prop, it's a 3 blade and 6 inch. So this one <laughs> I was a little bit kind of afraid to test it because it, it's pretty aggressive uh, uh, 3 blade prop uh, for 4S and sure enough uh, as you can see I think this one kind of hit the torque limit on the motor because uh, uh, it kind of felt like it, it the motor just couldn't spin it anymore and then uh, the amps just shot up uh, as you can see the maximum amps are almost 74 uh, this is mom all these are momentary max so uh, you know eventually they they do taper taper down and uh, again this uh, the equivalent in the air would be about 35 percent lower so multiply that times 0.65 and then you get your max in the air a uh, good approximation and also that's going to be max burst uh, in the air so it's not going to be uh, like a sustained max so that's only when you you punch the throttle and then you see the max number just for like a second or two maybe maybe you know maybe less than a second probably and then uh, the max amps, uh, they kind of taper down and uh, you know as the battery and the motor uh, heats up uh, the resistance increases so the batteries and the motor will draw it will deliver and draw less current so so you know don't don't be too scared about these max numbers uh, uh, these are kind of uh, exaggerated uh, also you know I'm using the power supply which is able to maintain this uh, to sustain these high bolts uh, in nearly 16 amps uh, so that's why the amps also shoot up because uh, uh, the power supply is able to deliver all that juice to the motor okay so then this I left here from the original chart uh, or original table just to uh, you know just so you can guys can get an idea of where these props uh, lie you know on the on the pecking order so uh, you can compare against these the popular 5040 by 3 and uh, some six inch props uh, if you want to compare that so you can see uh, you can see there that this uh, 6048 it's a little bit too big for this motor at this kv so this i didn't test it on 3s so on 3s is probably uh, it, it would do much better because it's not loading the motor as much uh, and it's spinning slower but it, then it's able to make a good amount of thrust compared to the two inch uh, these uh, two blade props so on 4s for this motor it's a little bit of an overkill so anyways uh, that's the results for the miscellaneous for these props i uh, hope you find the data useful and uh, thanks for watching